The purpose of this video is to show you how to install the CopyLeaks plagiarism checker into your LMS course. So there's two reasons I think why you would want to do this. Reason number one is if you forget to enable the CopyLeaks checker when you're creating an activity, going back and enabling it won't, in my experience, check then all of the submissions that were submitted before you enabled the copy leaks checker. So you might end up with student work that's been submitted if you forgot to turn on the copy leaks checker. Um, that's not actually been uh, checked for plagiarism or AI. Another reason you might turn it on is if a student has given you work outside of a portal that allows the copy leaks check-in to, to be turned on. So uh, maybe you have some assignment type and cop the copy leaks isn't working with it, or a student has given you a hard copy of something that you want to scan and run through the plagiarism checker. There is a way that you can um, manually upload content. So I'm going to show you how to get this tool imported into your LMS so that you can use it um, outside of specific assignments or forums or quizzes. So the first thing that you want to do is go to create a learning activity. And what you're looking for is the external tool. Now this is housed in activities, or you can also find it under all. Here you want to give the activity a name. Um, you can call it plagiarism checker. I just name it the same name that the LMS is already giving it. So um, I name it Copy Leaks Plagiarism Checker. And these are the two things when you're on this page that you have to do. You have to give it a name and you have to select the specific tool. And of course, for this, you want to pick Copy Leaks Plagiarism Checker. There is a Copy Leaks LTI 1.3, but we are looking for Copy Leaks Plagiarism Checker. Once you've got these two things set, an activity name, and you see that you've selected Copy Leaks Plagiarism Checker in the pre-configured tool dropdown, then you can save and return to course or save and display. When you're ready to upload files or copy and paste content to be checked for plagiarism, you just wanna go in and access this tool. And there's two ways that you can bring student work into the tool to check for plagiarism. You can submit a file either by dragging and dropping it into the box or by going through the upload files process. The other thing that you can do is copy and paste text. Maybe a student turned something in uh, to a forum that you didn't have the copy leaks enabled and you just want to copy paste their text straight into the text box, you can do that as well. So I'm going to grab a file and I'm going to drag and drop and you'll see, um, depending on the size of your screen, you might have to scroll down, but you'll see that the file has been added for checking at the bottom underneath this drag and drop panel. You don't have to check each document individually. You can upload them all at the same time, uh, maybe by saving them all into one folder on your computer and then um, selecting multiple files to drag and drop into the copy leaks portal. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so you can run as many as up to 100 files, and when you're ready, you can click Scan. Now, it will take a little bit of time, especially with the more files that you have, but I have already ran one through this process so that I can show you what the outcome looks like. Now, once the file has been scanned and the report is ready, you will notice a percentage score here on the right hand side. And again, when I'm in this tool, I do have to scroll down in order to see some of this content. When you wanna look at the report, what you need to do is click on the percentage score and that will bring you to the properties page. But I do recommend going in and downloading 
the file because it will show you a little more than what you see on this screen. So this screen just mostly focuses on plagiarized content. But if we do look at the downloaded report, we can see some additional content in terms of AI detection. So this is how you use the CopyLeaks plugin um, or external tool for manually running student files, student work through the CopyLeaks plagiarism checker. Um, it's a pretty simple process, but if you do have any questions, you can contact distance learning.